Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Ona de Guzman and our topic for today is classification of angles and geometry for grade 7, quarter 3. So to define our topic, so angle is formed by two non-collinear rays with the same point. An angle can be named in three different ways. So we can have by three capital letters, or we can have by the name of the vertex, or by a number. So let's consider this illustration on the right side. So by three letters, we can have angle DEG or angle GED. By the name of the vertex, we have angle E. By a number, we can have angle 1. Remember that the vertex is the common endpoint where the two lines meet. And sides of an angle are two non-collinear rays. In our illustration, we have rays ED as well as uh, EG are the sides of the given angle. Note that the measure of angle is written in units called degrees. We measure an angle with a protractor, which is our example on our illustration. So the zero on the right side is what we call inner scale, while the scale outside is what you call outer scale. We will talk about three main classifications of angles in this topic. So the first one is an acute angle. It's an angle that measures less than 90 degrees. In this example, we have angle MBP. And the end, okay, the terminating side is actually uh, lying on 40 degrees. So we can say that the measure of angle MBP is equal to 40. Okay, this angle is written mathematically in three ways. So we can rewrite this one as angle B, angle MBP, or angle PBM. So the second type or classification of angles is a right angle. So a right angle is an angle that measures exactly 90 degrees. In our example, we have angle CAR. So take note that the measure of angle CAR is equal to 90 degrees. Similarly, we can say also the angle RAC is equal to 90. So again, so this angle is written mathematically in three different ways. So we can have angle A, angle CAR, or angle RAC. So the third classification of angle is an obtuse angle. An obtuse angle is an angle that measures greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. As we can see on our illustration, we have angle LOP and the measure is equal to 160 degrees. So again, this angle is written mathematically in three different ways. So we have angle O, angle LOT, or angle TOL. So that measures class 160 degrees. To summarize our discussion and classification of angles, we have number one, acute angle, an angle that measures less than 90 degrees. The second one is a right angle. So this angle is actually measures exactly 90 degrees. And finally, we have obtuse angle, which is an angle that measures greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. Let's apply what we have learned on classification of angles. So let's have our exercise. Name the following angles according to its kind. So in number one, so of course, it's somehow less than 90 degrees. So therefore, we can have here as an acute angle. Next, in number two, so as we can see here on uh, small square, so it means it is a right angle. So this angle is measured exactly 90 degrees by the given. So therefore, this is a right angle. And finally, number 3, it seems this is more than 90 degrees. So if it is an angle measures more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees, so this is actually an obtuse angle. So let's move on to the next exercise. So that is name the given angle in three different ways. So we have our illustration here on the le lower left side. 
So we have here angle TGN. So by the way, re recall that there are three ways to name an angle. So the first one is through three letters. So we have here angle TGN or angle MGT. Another way to name an angle is through its vertex. And our vertex is point G. So we can have angle G. And finally, we can name this angle through a number. So the name of this angle is also angle 1. So again, that ends our discussion on classifications of angles. So again, this is Teacher Onid de Guzman. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you so much.